Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, Good Latte. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, why are cyber trucks made out of stainless steel? If you've ever seen one of these angular beasts cruising down the road, you know the cyber truck is unlike anything else out there. No paint, no curves, just sharp lines and a brushed metal finish that looks like it came straight from a sci-fi set. But that futuristic look isn't just about aesthetics. It's all because of one surprising material choice, stainless steel. So why did Tesla go with something that's notoriously hard to shape and almost never used in car bodies? Stick around as we dig into the science, the challenges and the bold reasoning behind Tesla's stainless steel gamble, right here on History of Simple Things. To really understand why stainless steel is such a big deal, we need to step back and look at how most vehicles are made. Typically, automakers use a combination of mild steel and aluminum alloys. These materials are relatively easy to shape, lightweight, and cost-effective. They're engineered to crumple during collisions, which is a safety feature, not a flaw. Now enter stainless steel. This metal doesn't like to crumple. It's incredibly strong, especially the kind Tesla uses, reportedly the same alloy that SpaceX is using for the Starship rocket. It's corrosion-resistant, ultra-durable, and, well, stubborn. Forming it into a traditional car shape is like asking a concrete block to do yoga. That's one of the reasons the Cybertruck's design is so angular. It's not just a stylistic choice, it's a direct result of the limitations of bending thick cold rolled stainless steel. So why use it? Because durability is the name of the game here. Tesla didn't want to build a truck that resembled a truck. They wanted to build something closer to a tank on wheels. Elon Musk has said that the Cybertruck's exoskeleton is designed to be literally bulletproof to a 9mm handgun. That's not your typical selling point for a consumer vehicle, but it says a lot about the mindset behind the project. Tesla wasn't aiming for conventional. It was aiming for indestructible. Stainless steel provides a level of protection that traditional materials just can't match. It resists dents and dings far better than aluminum. It won't rust like regular steel. And while it adds weight, the battery-powered drivetrain can handle it better than a gas engine might. It's also part of a design philosophy that prioritizes longevity. Instead of making a vehicle that looks great for five years, Tesla is aiming for something that can take a beating for decades. But let's be honest, it's also a flex. Using stainless steel isn't just about function, it's about making a statement. A cyber truck doesn't quietly blend into traffic, it screams, I am not like the others. And part of that identity comes from the metal skin itself. Here's where it gets even more interesting. The connection between the cyber truck and rockets. SpaceX, Tesla's sibling company, switched from carbon fiber to stainless steel for its Starship spacecraft. Why? Because stainless steel holds up better under extreme conditions. It deals well with both heat and pressure. And this part's important, it's cheaper than high-end composites. That same thinking trickled down to the Cybertruck. If stainless steel can survive atmospheric re-entry, why not trust it to survive a trip to Home Depot? Elon Musk's companies often share technology and ideas, and this is one of the clearest examples. The material Tesla is using isn't your everyday kitchen-grade stainless steel. It's aerospace grade, and using it for a truck is like using Kevlar for a backpack. Overkill for most, but undeniably cool. Plus, it builds into the mythology of the brand. 
Tesla isn't just selling you a truck. It's selling you the idea of a future-proof machine built from the same stuff as a spaceship. Let's talk about looks for a second. The Cybertruck's design has been, let's say, polarizing. Some people love its polygonal stealth fighter aesthetic. Others think it looks like it was rendered in Minecraft, but the shape isn't arbitrary. Because of how stiff the stainless steel is, you can't do traditional automotive stamping. There's no graceful flowing curvature because the metal won't allow it. Instead, Tesla had to work with what the material would tolerate, straight lines and hard angles. In a way, the design is dictated by the material itself. And that gives the Cybertruck a sort of brutal honesty. It doesn't pretend to be sleek and aerodynamic. It's unapologetically tough, angular, and industrial. That aesthetic has its own appeal, especially to people who see trucks as tools, not fashion accessories. If you want something you're not afraid to scratch, dent, or haul through a mud pit, this design makes perfect sense. Of course, using stainless steel isn't all upside. There are real trade-offs. For starters, it's heavier than aluminum. That means the truck needs more battery power to achieve the same range. It's also expensive to work with. Manufacturing processes have to be rethought from the ground up. It can't be painted traditionally, which means every scratch or fingerprint shows. And repairs? Well, good luck finding a body shop that stocks 30X stainless steel panels. Then there's pedestrian safety. A rigid exoskeleton doesn't absorb energy in the same way as a traditional crumple zone. There's some debate about how the Cybertruck will perform in crashes, not just for passengers, but for anyone unlucky enough to get hit by it. But Tesla seems to believe that the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. In their eyes, the Cybertruck isn't just a vehicle, it's a paradigm shift. So, is the Cybertruck setting a new standard, or is it a flashy one-off? That's still up in the air. If the stainless steel gamble pays off, we might see more manufacturers experiment with unconventional materials. But if it turns out to be too difficult to scale, too expensive to repair, or too controversial for regulators, it might remain a niche product. So why is the Cybertruck made out of stainless steel? Because Tesla wanted to build something radically different, something that prioritizes strength over polish, function over familiarity, and longevity over ease of production. It's not just a truck, it's a statement. One forged, quite literally, in cold, unyielding steel. Whether you love it or hate it, you can't ignore it. The Cybertruck doesn't whisper. It clangs loudly. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.